Hi, this is Randy Pike from Teak, and I'm going to show you how to do a couple simple adjustments and perform a standard radio calibration on the Teak and RSB controller. Uh, the radio calibration is pretty much standard across the board with our current Teak and products, uh, FXR, B1 series, obviously the RS, as well as the RX8. So pretty much standard procedure when you're calibrating any Teak and speed controller at the moment. So right now you can see that my speed controller is in nor normal mode. I mean, it's, it's showing the onboard temp monitor, which is you know, show LED4, which is the neutral position. And it flashes over to the left to show you how hot the speed controller is. Um, this car is straight off the bench, so it's nice and cool. So only one LED is lit. But you can see that you know if I hit brakes or something like that, it stops flashing and just shows me my brakes. That's all I'm really looking for at some point. So uh, let me zero out my radio here. Uh, just as a standard, most radios will calibrate just perfectly fine when you set your endpoint travels to 100 to 100, so it's a pretty good place to start. It's also default for most radio systems, so that's usually what we go with most of the time. So all you need to do to do, perform a radio calibration is hold the mode button down until it chimes. The first setting it looks for is neutral, and there's the confirmation chime. So as you can see, the LEDs are over to the far right, so it's looking for a high signal, which would be your throttle, so go ahead and pull full trigger until the confirmation chime. There's the confirmation chime. And again, you'll notice the LEDs come over to the left side showing, looking for a low signal. This is your brake or your reverse. So hit brake, hold it till the confirmation chime. Now at this point, let off and go to neutral. The system will reboot and now you're ready for operation. To verify that you're getting full signal, I'll show you brakes so I don't blow the tires up off my bench. You're just gonna hit full brake and you can watch the LEDs ramp and they're gonna flash. This is indicating you're getting full signal, whether it be full brake or a full throttle. So always look for this. If you're having an issue where your turbo is inconsistent, for example, always make sure you're getting full throttle. Some radios wander a little bit. If that's the case, there's a trick to bump your EPAs up a little bit after you've calibrated. Bump them up 5 or 10%. But if you want to make sure you're getting full signal, whether it be throttle or brake, hit the full throttle brake and all LEDs must light and flash. And I can show you if I pull back my brake strength on this radio just by 20%, and I hit full brake, now you can see LEDs light up, but they do not flash, indicating I am not getting full signal. So that's something to consider. These LEDs are really really useful and helpful to show you what's going on with your speed controller. Now, I'm gonna show you how to make a quick adjustment when it's really popular in off-road, which is the drag brake adjustment. It's the first LED on the, on the decal. What you're gonna do is hit the mode button one time. It's gonna have the LED button flash and on drag brake. The first time you hit the increment button, that's just gonna show you what the current setting is. If you wanna adjust it, Keep hitting that increment button, and you can see the LEDs climbing up on the LED tree. The higher they go to the right, the more drag brake you're going to get. So I'm going to show max drag brake, which is all the way over to the 7 LED, and leave it lit. Let the system reboot. And now that's basically that's my new drag brake setting. And to confirm that, I can hit the mode button one time, hit the increment button one time, and you can see that it's all the way over to the 7th LED. Now I obviously don't want to leave it there, so I'm going to adjust it. Again, you watch the LED drop all the way down to the one side. That's no drag brake. Let it reboot. And now that setting is saved. You can do this really quick and easy. Right in the pit area, have your buddy down at the track. Take your car out for a spin. If you need some more drag brake, whip it into the pit. Have him hit this button a couple times. Make the adjustment. Let it reboot. Throw the car back out on the track. And this is really popular. You can do this for drag brake, your brake strength, your current limiter, neutral width. Timing profiles can be swapped on the fly as of 208 software, your motor type, and your voltage cutoff. So guys looking to make that change between 2S and 3S on a speed controller, whether it be crawlers or 8 scale guys or whatever, you can change your voltage cutoff without the hot wire. It's a simple adjustment, takes a couple button presses, and you're good to go.